And let's get in here with our wrench. Oops, there we go, we're losing some fluid there out of that other line. But anyway, get in here with your wrench. You may need a long extension, uh, depending on where it fits on here. These aren't exactly easy, but they're not impossible either. Now, if you're in salt water, um, this job, I believe, actually, I think I'm going the wrong direction. We even want to go the opposite direction. So the, when you're backwards and things are not the right side up, sometimes it's difficult to remember which direction to go to realize it. Now this one has two lines, a supply line, and what I believe is either the up or the down line. So we're gonna have to remove actually both of those. I didn't realize that. The other one had a like a cap on it because it probably could be used on either side. So this one does have an extra line that we're gonna have to take off here. Okay, so we got that one off. I need to get a bigger one for this. Right back. So that one I was using was a 10, 10 millimeter. I'm guessing this is, yeah, it's like a 13. So I cracked this one loose, going the same direction. So we were going the other way with the other one. Just remove it the rest of the way by hand, but thanks to Volvo Penta back in the early 90s, this is, this is the way they used to do it. So this outdrive is the DP CD trim. No idea what that means, uh, other than dual prop, duo trim. So I'm not really sure what that, or CD trim. So I'm not sure what CD trim stands for. If you know, feel free to comment in the comments below. Oh, no, that's it. There you go. So that, those are both out. All right, so now let's see if I can do this without killing my back. So we want to go to the left. There we go. And nice. So now I got another one of these, you know, um, hoses here. That's a solid line that it just does. These don't. These don't want to move out of the way. There's not really much room. Ah, there we go. Okay. So we're just gonna go to the left. Get this bad boy off. Just keep rotating it. There should be a bunch of fluid will come flying out of here in a second. So keep a bucket underneath. I think we're just about there. Once you've got it pretty loose, you usually can get the rest of the way by hand. And here we go, here's the... There it is. Boom, done. So we'll go ahead and um, pull out the, uh, the old gaskets. I'm gonna wipe this thing down a little bit here, clean this up. We're gonna replace that gasket that's on there. Make sure we're all clean in there. And there you go. That's how it looks when it comes off. So let me take you through what I did to drill it and we'll do all that now. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in the vise, nice and tight. Put something like this around here if you don't wanna get your metal shavings into any of those tiny holes. I'll start with punching it. So find a spot. It's about right in the middle of that circle. Give a little punch twice. Okay. Same thing, opposite side. Okay, and then you got two nice little indentations there. I'll show you guys. Okay, so then we're gonna drill those. Just go slow, take your time and double check after each little drill. If 
you don't want to drill all the way through this to the white, okay? That would be bad, possibly. So I've drilled through a little bit, not too deep. And I'm gonna to switch to the, my next biggest drill bit. Okay, and you're gonna drill it here. I guess I double check it, check your depth. That looks like they're plenty deep there. like that depth right there and then we're going to go to our biggest one which will which will match the size of this okay and that looks like it's in there just a little crooked we don't want a crooked hole maybe just a hair deeper Okay, just keep checking it. I think that's gonna be good. I'm on a little side a bit more here. Okay. So once you're done with that, get your pin wrench, adjust it to the whole size that you've created. Tighten it down. And then you're gonna go, make sure you hold it down and you're gonna go to the left to loosen it. And as you can see, it works perfectly. There you go. Actually a lot of crud on there too, see that? I don't know if you guys can see that, probably maybe too close up, but I'm starting to get a little bit of rust, probably a little moisture down in there, um, but not too bad. All right, so let's take this off. We got to pull the these parts apart. We'll do that over here. Once you remove that, um, set that aside, and let's pull this off. You can kind of see there's some corrosion and stuff on here. So what I do is take a rag, wipe it off good, and then take like a, a Scotch Brite like this, and you wanna clean up that, that, that calcium or whatever that hard water is that has built up on the shaft. I like the way that looks. So we're gonna go with that. We'll just clean this up a little bit more before we put it all back together. We will clean it up even better. Okay, now you wanna Take out the old gaskets. Don't want to get your new gaskets mixed up with your old gaskets, but here's your old one here. One of your old ones, right? So be careful not to scratch the inside edge here because you don't want to damage the aluminum and cause a leak. But basically you can pull that out and then, whoop, there she goes. That one over here. So there's an old one and you could just see that thing is it's in rough shape. Let me turn another light on here. We get a little better lighting. There we go. You see that a little better now? So it's definitely something that could leak. That'll be the new one for that. Now this one in here is definitely tricky to get out. I'm not gonna lie. But the last time I took it out, uh, the other one, um, it was very brittle and I basically just pried on it. I probably should use two of these one to get down in there, the other one to get behind it. It seemed to work pretty good. It's kind of hard to do by yourself if you have someone else that can help you. Um, that would be the way to go. See, like I've got that pulled back. If I could keep it pulled back with one hand, I could get my other, get my other. Uh... All right guys, sorry I had a phone call, but let's see if we can finish getting this this out so I think I had this pulled back a little bit and I was gonna get this behind there thought I had it out enough but I'll tell you what they are tricky all right got it out enough again I 
there we go. So see, I've kind of pulled it out a little bit. And then what I normally do, let me grab a pair of pliers, pair of pliers and just wiggle that bad boy out of there. And you can see that thing is so dry and brittle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go clean this up and then we'll reinstall the new gasket. So give me just a second. All right guys, so I got this cleaned out really nice. I'm gonna let that dry for a minute. I'm gonna go take both of these O-rings, not O-rings, but seals, and I'm gonna put them in a glass of hot water, let them soak for a little bit, and then we'll install them. Okay guys, so I got both of the seals in here. I'm going to install the inner one first, which is this one. I think it's warm enough. So basically that's gonna go right down in here. Now it is tricky to do, and it does take a little, you may break a fingernail. That's all I'm saying. Don't have long fingernails when you do this job um, because it it is not fun to try to get these in sometimes. Um, and I've got them heated up. Whoops, see they already popped out, but the key is to try to get it to start in that little groove. Um, sometimes I take um, something blunt, you know, to kind of to hold it in, to get it in there. But if you're at, if you're if you're at all handy, you'll figure it out. It just you just got to work it in there, and you'll get it. You can see when one side starts kind of going in and then try to work that side in there. I think we got it. There we go, it's in. Just kind of wiggle it around a little bit, make sure you got it. That looks pretty good. So I'm gonna put the, uh, the top seal in now. Grab that one out of here. Let's shake that out. Get rid of some of that water. All right, same thing. And this outer edge goes to the outside. There we go. And sometimes you kind of just kind of, once it's in there, you just work it around. And there you go, you got your new seals in. So I'm gonna dry that out because it had a little moisture on those things. Just make sure you, you know, don't get too much debris or whatever water, moisture, dirt in there. All right, so I've got that all cleaned out. I've got this thing wiped down good. So that's good. Um, I've got to go put the O-ring on that other um, thing outside. Let's go do that really quick. All right, guys, so the old O-ring is here. Again, just be careful. Don't scratch anything. Pull that off, clean it up, make sure you're good. Put the new one on. I should probably start from the bottom so I can see the top as I come around, make sure it's going on, right? All right, so that's on there now. Take a little fluid, get it on there. Okay, so that's good. Let's go back and finish reassembling this other ramp. All right, so we're back. So the other thing we gotta do is, remember on this, we have to remove this old white seal. Remove that best you can, or break it, that works too. And then get the O-ring out of there. Just get that out. Pull that off. I almost want to compare these two O-rings. The other one looks smaller. Then the old the um the old one looks smaller. The new one looks a little larger, but I think it is still okay. I'm gonna try to get in there a little bit. It almost looks like a little debris sort of junk built up behind there. Maybe a little bit of rust starting. Even though this thing is a stainless steel. So 
maybe a little rust in there. Hard to tell. I'm just gonna hit it real quick with some cleaner. All right, I got that cleaned off. Just let that dry a little bit. All right, so then we're gonna put new O-ring on here. Get that going. Okay, so that's on there. And then you got this other, I forget what they call these, but this is gonna go over top like that. Again, make sure that O-ring is down underneath there. I think it's a little bit large, but maybe they make it a little larger so that you have more outward pressure on the seal or the, the um, I know you guys will correct me in the comments, but I wanna say like the sweep or something like that. Anyways, for some reason, there we go. So once you got it on there, pretty good, okay. So now let's reassemble, let's put a little transmission fluid on everything just to get it nice and slippery. Puts a little bit on the O-rings in here. Maybe a little on our threads for later on this seal. And then you're gonna reassemble this. It feels like a pretty nice, and then of course, this goes this way. Get it started. We might have to put it back in the vise to finish tightening it, but this one actually looks like it's going on pretty nice and easy without even the vise, so I don't think we're going to need to use it. Nope, I think we're good. All right, so that's all reassembled. Take you guys back out there to the boat. Get it re let's get it reinstalled. So we're gonna slide this in. Get in there. It's a pretty good seal there. There it goes. Okay. And then you wanna start getting your this tightened up best you can. Probably have to move this up a little more. These usually have to be pretty, there we go, pretty tight up against there to raise it up high enough. Um, there we go. It's going though. Just got some of these hoses in the way that we need to move. Let's see if I can just hold them up out of the way with my other hand. While I tighten this. I have to finish my video because my phone died, but I did put everything back together and nothing's leaking. Uh, ran some water through it every, and ran it up and down a few times. The only thing I had to do was I had to help lift it up the first couple times to get all that fluid, it seemed like, into the rams. And once it had gone up and down all the way a few times with a little help, it works fine now. So I hope that helps you guys with the videos. Don't forget to put your pins back in here with your cotter pin, both sides. And that's all you gotta do. I just gotta get my props done and this baby will be back on the water. All right, Dace.